Hi, I'm Matt Holmes, and this is called Never Alone. Spent last Wednesday night in the hospital. I was sick and scared and tired and lost in pain and confused, and it wasn't me in the bed, it was my son. A stomach illness had made him dehydrated, an infection had clogged his ears. It really wasn't all that bad. But the doc thought a night in the hospital, a bag or two of fluids, some antibiotics, they were the cure for what ailed him. So we were there, two of us, him in the gown and me in sweats, him with a needle in his arm to give him fluids, and me with a wound in my soul from watching them put that needle in. When night fell, we were left alone with only blinking lights, the faint cries of other patients, and the endless beeping of the IV to keep us company. And it became obvious who the real patient was. Though Hugh had cried when they placed the IV and hollered when they drew his blood, he had since drifted off into heavy slumber. But I was left awake, paging the nurse every hour or so, claiming that my son had rolled over on the call light, but as long as she was there. I was nervous and scared. I had questions and concerns, some legit, but most the panic thoughts of an uninformed and ill-equipped person. There's never one patient. We're never ill alone. When one of us is sick, we are all infected. When one of us dies, we all lose a piece of ourself. And in caring for the sick, you allow yourself to become infected. You give up that piece of yourself. You feel another's pain and you take part in another's struggle. And in doing so, you make that struggle a little easier. This giving of yourself for the other, it should not be overlooked. It's not easy to join the other in their illness, but it is a calling. And through each of you, it has become the greatest of blessings.